Outline of the Book of Galatians. When was it written? Around AD 50. Who wrote it? The Apostle Paul. Chapter 1, verse 1. Notable people and places. Christ, Paul, Peter, also known as Cephas. Galatia, Jerusalem. Notable sound bites. I am amazed that you are so quickly deserting him who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel, which is really not another. Only there are some who are disturbing you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. Chapter 1, verses 6 to 7. Nevertheless, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but through faith in Christ Jesus. Chapter 2, verse 16. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, this he will also reap. Chapter 6, verse 7. The messianic link, he is the one who rescues us. Chapter 1, verses 3 to 4. The book. In this letter to the Galatian church, Paul is up against the Judaizers. That is to say, Jews who have converted to Christianity, but still place value in the old laws of the Torah, particularly circumcision. In the first chapter, he expresses amazement that they have so easily reverted back to the old ways, a system of salvation through the keeping of the law. From verse 11 of the first chapter, he goes on to defend his ministry and his calling, taught to him by direct revelation from Jesus Christ, chapter 1, verse 12. He condemns even Peter and Barnabas for being hypocrites and siding with the Jewish faction chapter 2 verses 11 to 14 and continues in the following chapters to emphasize with great earnestness the salvation they have received. It is a salvation based on grace and faith chapter 3 onwards and has no connection to the works of the law to which they were once subject. He finishes his letter by encouraging them to bear one another's burdens and in this way alone fulfill the law of Christ, chapter 6. Notes and quotes. The Galatian church had fallen into the old trap of trying hard to earn their salvation, which is basically what following the old law was all about. Even today, however, individuals can be sucked into the whole idea that they have to earn what the Lord has freely given them. It is in our nature to expect to pay for something and so easy for us to fall into the trap that God expects payment in some manner or other. It was easy for the Jewish contingent of the Galatian church to insist that they must follow certain laws such as circumcision for men because the people had not truly grasped the idea of salvation through faith in Christ alone. We must always be on our guard against individuals who may insist on us following certain diets or dress codes or even performing certain duties in order to appropriate what God has already given us through faith in Christ, chapter 3, verse 11. Thanks for dropping by. For more short Bible summaries or outlines, then check out this channel or our blog at thebiblebrief.com.